Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Stairs. Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Hey, Gaia. It's me. Hello, Aloy. Did you wish to continue our discussion? So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. It is true, she overestimated our progress. However... It is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. How's Katalo doing? I have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can, then. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. Val and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. So there's a few people here now, and they're learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene. ...to allow him to process this on his own terms. So this facility, the Regional Control Center... ...it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database... They would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. It's 
So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. That would have been quite a sight. It may still be possible to view some of them, should you find and reconnect the cameras to this room's console. I'll keep a lookout. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia kernel. It used to be a feral research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. Guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with, too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world, an effort by its creators to protect it from the feral plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the U.S. military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley, until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved water to the wasteland an entire city brought back to life a thousand years later the whole place was still on standby just waiting for someone to come along and wake it up when we were at the facility where we found beta there were records that said far zenith were researching embryogenesis i know they traded their ectogenic chambers to zero dawn but why were they researching it in the first place at this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship, necessitating such technology. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. I guess I should get going. As you say. Be well, Aloy. So the old ones painted their faces with something called... I don't think that door had power before, but... Looks like it's malfunctioning. Looks like some kind of maintenance space.
bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac! Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, was studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. We saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then? Well, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew I was a bit so back, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it. To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls flying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? 
Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything you can use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't! Okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Imagine if the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. If Tilda's the same as the others, it won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I will hold my breath. Chill air is prickling my lungs. Champion, sit, please. Sound 
food. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. Good luck out there.
Commander. I offer you an honorable trade. Something nearby is sending that signal. It's about to get loud. That sound must be atomic. Another Talmec. Settlement. That's abandoned. But high enough to get me on that tall neck. I need to get to that platform. Just gotta find it. Might be high enough to jump on that tall neck.
for the ride, buddy. Find higher ground. Watch my step.
barbarians pinned down. Move in. Okay, whoever these people are, it looks like we're not going to be friends. I need to get past these hostiles and into the ruins. I have her! fast in case there's more of them according to Gaia it should be somewhere in these ruins Looks like some sort of old office complex. Flower. Demeter should be right beyond that door. But those vines are blocking the way. Unless I can cut through them, I'm gonna need to find another way in.
no way out. <sighs> Great. I'll miss this console. robot command time's running out i didn't have the heart to tell harris that our cure might be worse than the disease even if adamantine wreath works we still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently but cobble's team is working on it over at test station ivy he'll come through he has to. Adam Wraith. Another secret project. Oh, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so... Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy... They want me dead. I better be careful. Okay. I could take those soldiers out quietly. There's a barbarian in the compound. She got past the lookouts. Find her, kill her, and bring her head to the lieutenant. Understood. The the rest diplomacy is off the table. Knowledge will be found.
wish these people would have talked to me instead of trying to kill me. Oh, now I need to find a way out of this courtyard. It's promising. I submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. By death alone, I can atone our trespass. I'm not gonna kill you, okay? I just wanna figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Uh, I'm of the chosen people. The Quen? The ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone. The eye that reveals the legacy. The legacy, huh? The legacy? Uh, the truth. Now, it is in the darkness and the lost places. Among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. Now, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. If you're looking for data, maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alpha. Second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we... Start again. I've never heard of the Quen. Our lands lie across the great ocean. We haven't been here before. So why come now? Our homeland has been ravaged by freakish weather. Terrible storms and blistering droughts. The crops are failing. The people are starving. When we looked for answers, it was proposed that if we had the courage to cross the ocean to Legacy's landfall, then we might earn the knowledge we need to save our people. But so far, that knowledge has eluded us. So, your people call this place Legacy's Landfall? No. Uh, landfall is where we arrived. To the west, in the shadows of the sunken city by the broken bridge. You mean San Francisco? Yes. You're well versed in the Legacy. It was a place of great importance to our ancestors. We had hoped to learn their secrets there, but so far that door remains closed. Even so, the data we discovered there has led us to this place. It might be our last chance. To find something that can save your crops and your people. Yes. If the ancestors will be generous to us once more. So you said your ancestors left your tribe that focus? Yes. Thirteen diviners have possessed this one since it was discovered among the ruins in our homeland. I have their honored names committed to memory. So you have one, but none of the soldiers out there did. We each have a role to play. No, it is the diviners' purpose to seek out the legacy, interpret the wisdom of our ancestors for the good of all, and to keep it safe so that no one but the Diviners know how to use a focus. Not even the Imperial family, and certainly not soldiers. So how many Diviners are there? At Landfall, a small group. Uh, back at home, a few dozen more. That's a guess. Uh, only the Overseers know for sure, and I am not of their rank. So you call Data from the ancient past the Legacy? Yes. All that is not lost or forbidden. What does that mean? All that we are capable of reading and that which is permitted. Okay, I'm not sure I get it. That's fine. Um, so what do you use the data for? The greatest secrets are the ones that improve the lives of many. How to tend our crops, how to hold floodwaters back or even cross the ocean. Technology. That is what I seek here. Technology that can help my people back home. 
Those soldiers, they opened fire on me without warning. Why? Uh, it is the duty of the Quen to seek out the legacy and defend it from the ignorant and envious. Not that you seem ignorant. But back home, other tribes only mean us harm, and we were told the same was true here. Does that come from your legacy? The legacy is truth. But we have been known to misinterpret it. I hope time and the wisdom of our ancestors will guide us down the correct path. Yeah. I hope so, too. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map. Uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? It's okay. It looks like your focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? You can see what is lost! And forbidden! Not lost. Not forbidden, just a... ...newer format. There. That's where I need to go. But you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. What about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Let's try with my focus. I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. Do you want me to come with you? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? To the map, there should be another exit further in. Just stay close. Lead the way. Oh, fire gleam. Better stand back. According to the map, the exit should be this way. I 
haven't tried that smaller tunnel over there. I'll be glad to get back above ground. Yeah, it feels like a tomb down here. They fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? <sighs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Fight them, or try to sneak past. <laughs> Good call. Could try using acid ammo.
right behind you. Maybe we can get through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. There's consoles up here, too! I know where to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. This one won't budge. Maybe one of the others. I think I can move these things. There we go. Huh. There's some space back there. This should help. Supplies. Looks like some sort of conveyor. You think you can move it over to me? Yeah. If you can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Exactly. Hold it there. Let me just. I jumped on top. Hold on. can't get past it. My mission here is doomed. Alba, I'll help. If I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. There should be a power cell inside. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. I gotta move this. I found the energy cell. Now find a way into the generator room. generators in this room. It has to be somewhere else. you decide to, uh, uh, blow up a wall? I'll, uh, try. Okay. That brought power back to the doors. You can reach me now. On my way. to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Ready when you are. Okay, you ready? On two. One, 
Okay, that's where we need to go. What? No, 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 no. How do I shut this thing off? Meet below. I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log. Um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second? Who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam packed with irony. Developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Oh, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors, they were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. But most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you can see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva, I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But... Every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. We need to keep moving. Test Station Ivy can't be far off.
another maze. But the road to truth is never a straight line. So the metal flowers, what the data referred to as adamantine wreaths, they were supposed to stop the destruction that caused the time of ashes? Looks like it. Okay, let's find a way to get into the Proving Ground. That complex should be test station IV. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. It's so still. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. It's one of those machines. It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. You with me? Yes.
you helped. We should be able to get into Testation Ivy now. It's carrying one of the metal flowers. Is that how they've been distributed? Airdrops from these machines? There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Oh, that's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. That might be worth a look sometime. This console's still operational. So all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. That must be the fourth testing station we saw on the map. Looks like it's been flooded for a while. In here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you! Sounds like we can use the line to get down. Barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. Now what? Now, we get to that data core.
This new module works. Blooming. Let's see if the software works. Silence. They're falling apart. Door's clear now. The data core is intact. It's time to bring Demeter home. Demeter? It's time to go home. To Gaia. You see the one. Not so lucky. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Demeter subordinate function to original code. What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But they kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. Follow it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. Uh, what you said before about... <laughs> Alba! Hold your fire! By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come. Look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, L look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you, an ancestor reborn. Diviner, we should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Do I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. all of us says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might want to explore the area before I make the trek back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier.